First of all, today we are going to see about Bayesian Belief Network that is BBN. A BBN is a probabilistic graphical model that represents conditional dependencies between random variables through a directed acyclic graph. The directed acyclic graph will have directions uh, between the random variables but will not have cycle. Obviously, a graph will have nodes and arcs. The nodes represents variables which can be discrete or continuous. That means a variable can take the value which can be a discrete value or it can be a continuous value. The arcs represent the causal relationship between the va variables. This causal relationship is going to uh, help us explore the conditional dependencies between the random variables. So let's uh, look at using an example which will uh, make things better. This is an example of directed acyclic graph. So and we have uh, variables, random variables, weather, health, umbrella sale, rainy, green leaves and hot coffee. So such a representation of uh, random variables, uh, when we represent these random variables and we ca capture the dependencies between these random variables, what we can make out is that we can make out the reasoning and the uncertainty that are hidden between these random variables. For instance, we can predict the umbrella sale depending upon the probability of the weather. So, uh, similarly, we can also um, uh, see that the probability of the green leaves showing up is high when it is a, when it is a rainy season. Similarly, the probability of making a hot coffee is high when it is a rainy day. So, the probability of having a good health is um, high when the weather is dependent on the weather. So, that is what this uh, directed acyclic graph is going to tell us and we are going to explore the uncertainties and we can make out certain uh, inference and reasoning. So, how we are going to make out is that we are going to explore the joint probability distribution of all these random variables. That means the uh, for predicting the green leaves, so is dependent on all the joint probabilities of its uh, ancestors. So, we will see an example. So, where there are two probabilities uh, that comes to our rescue in BBN, that is joint probability and conditional probability. So, we'll, uh, the joint probability of uh, all these three random variables, uh, the probability of weather, health, umbrella, umbrella sale is given by the product of the probability of weather multiplied by the conditional probability that given the weather, the probability of uh, uh, the health multiplied by the probability of given the weather, the probability of the umbrella sale. So, generalizing it, the probability of all the random variables is given by the product of uh, their uh, condition probabilities given their parents' probability. So, this denotes the belief. This denotes the belief. So, belief means like we are believing on a, a certain probability uh, which is making us to uh, help, uh, predict or reason out uh, the, uh, the probability of another random variable. Hence, the name Bayesian Belief Network. So, how these probabilities, uh, what, what these probabilities emit and how are they going to help? So, these probabilities are going to help us to make an inference. So, let's say these random variables are Boolean. That means a random variable, uh, each random variable is going to take a value either 0 or 1. So, each node will be uh, associated with the uh, DAG will have a conditional probability table. So, these conditional probabilities are going to help us to make the reference. We will see an example which can make things better. This is an example. So, each node, let's start from windy. The probability of the weather being windy is 0 0.001 and the probability of the weather being cloudy is 0 0.002. And uh, we have another variable called raining, so which is dependent on two uh, parent, windy and cloudy. So, here there are only single probability value. Why? Because they are not dependent on any other uh, random variable. So, here also, whereas the rain is dependent on two uh, random variables, so, we have four combinations of uh, conditional probabilities here. This is the conditional probability table associated with this, uh, this node, whereas this is associated with this node and this one is associated with this node. So, here, so given it is windy and given it is cloudy, the probability of raining is calculated here. So, it has already been calculated. So, when the windy wind is true and the cloudy is true, the probability of getting a rain is 0 0.95. When the wind is true and the cloudy is false, the probability of getting a rain is 0.95. When the wind is false and the cloudy is true, the probability of getting a rain, rain is 0.29. When both of them are false, the probability of getting a rain is 0.001. So similarly, the wet grass. So the, the grass being wet, the probability of the grass being wet is dependent on the rain. So when the rain is true, the probability of getting a wet grass is 0.95. And when the uh, 
uh, rain is false, the probability of getting a wet grass is 0.05. Uh, so the probability of taking an off from work so is dependent on rain. So when it has only one parent, so we have two combinations. When the rain is true, um, the probability of getting an off uh, is 0 0.7, uh, 0 0.9. Nine one and uh, the when it is false then it is point not uh, one. So using this example, let's find the probability of having a wet grass. So the probability of having a wet grass. So we we said the the wet grass is having sing, uh, one parent that is rain. So the probability is uh, calculated by the uh, probability of the conditional probability that is given the rain the probability of uh, a wet grass multiplied by the probability of the rain plus summed up by when it is not raining also we should calculate so the probability of the when it is not raining the probability of getting a wet grass because a wet grass can also happen when it is not raining so that's why we are considering this probability given when it is not raining the probability of getting a wet grass multiplied by the probability of not getting a rain so uh, this probability of rain and probability of not getting a rain is uh, needs to be calculated separately which cannot be directly looked up from the conditional table. So right now we will only fill these values using the figure we had earlier. So this probability given the rain, given the rain is true, the probability of getting a wet grass is 0 0.9. So multiplied by uh, the probability of R, we will calculate this separately. So given it is not raining, that is the, the, the uh, rain is false, the probability of getting a wet grass is 0 0.05. So multiplied by probability of not raining. So we will calculate the, these two factors separately and we will substitute again uh, in this equation to get the probability of the wet grass. So first we will calculate the probability of rain. So we said we had two pair, we have two parents for rain that is being windy and cloudy. So this is how the probability of rain will be calculated. Given it is windy, given it is cloudy, the probability of rain multiplied by the joint probabilities of both windy and cloudy summed by the given when it is not windy and when it is cloudy the probability of getting a rain multiplied by the joint probabilities of not windy and cloudy plus and the, the conditional probability of when it is not cloudy and windy and the probability of raining uh, multiplied by the joint probabilities of windy and not cloudy plus the conditional probabilities of like given when it is not windy and not cloudy the probability of getting a rain multiplied by the probability of uh, the uh, joint probability of not windy and not cloudy so we will uh, make the we, we can take all these values from the conditional um, probability table we have so and we can fill up so first we will see this so it is windy and cloudy what is the probability of getting a rain so when it is windy and it is cloudy the probability of getting a rain is 0.95 that's how we got this value and the joint probability of probability of windy and cloudy can be easily made out from the windy and cloudy why because like they do not have any they are not dependent on any uh, of the um, uh, any of the other uh, random variables the joint, joint probability is just the multiplication of their uh, both the probability values the probability of windy and clou uh, the cloudy that is joint probability is calculated by the by multiplying the 0.01 uh, multiplied by 0 0.002 so the probability of windy and cloudy so that's how uh, this is done this factor is done so we are uh, looking at here so when it is not windy and when it is cloudy what is the probability of getting a rain this can be when it is not windy so when it is not windy wind is false and the cloud is true the uh, probability value of getting a rain is 0.29 that's how we got this multiplied by the joint probability of not windy and cloudy so not windy and cloudy so windy is 0 0.01 so not windy is 1 minus 0 0.01 that's how we got this 0 0.999 multiplied by probability of cloudy so probability of cloudy we know 0 0.002 so we uh, we are done with the second factor as well and here so give, given it is uh, windy and not cloudy what is the probability of rain so that can be easily made out from the uh, this table so when it is not cloudy cloud is false cloud is false and the wind is true so the value of the probability of rain is uh, 0 0.95 so and the joint probability of windy and not cloudy windy and not cloudy is given by um, windy is 0 0.01 not cloudy is 1 minus 0 0.002 probability of cloudy is 0 0.002 not cloudy is 1 minus this that's how i got this plus probability of 
the joint prob uh, the, the conditional probability of not windy and not cloudy what is the probability of raining so which is uh, not pro not windy and not cloudy so point not not one um, multiplied by not windy and not cloudy so not windy and not cloudy uh, joint probability is uh, one minus point not not one multiplied by one minus point not not two so that's how we got this value so we now understood uh, how to calculate the um, probability of rain getting a rain is this so we also need to calculate the probability of not rain in a similar way. So like we calculated in the probability of rain, so we need to calculate, uh, so we'll, all, uh, we'll also have four combinations here as well. So given it is the multiplying the joint probability and the condition probability, given it is windy and cloudy, the probability of not raining, so which is calculated by, uh, given uh, it can also be uh, obtained from the conditional uh, probability table. The wind is true and the cloudy is true. The probability of uh, uh, getting a rain is 0.95. So the probability of not getting a rain is 1 minus 0.95. So that's the only difference uh, um, that is that is the only difference between uh, the calculating the probability of rain and not raining. So the similar uh, factors can be made out easily uh, as uh, uh, discussed in the uh, as discussed in the probability of uh, uh, rain calculation. So we get this probability of not raining. So that is 0.99744. So substituting uh, this um, probability of rain and probability of not raining in this equation. So our ultimate goal is to find the probability of uh, getting a bed grass. So substituting these two values uh, in this equation. So we predict the probability of bed grass as 0.0521. So this is how the uncertainties in the random variables can be made out using the Bayesian belief network. So similarly, we can also make um, use BBN uh, to make uh, make classification. So we can also predict uh, the class of a particular uh, random variable. Let's say a document. A document we can predict the class of the document whether it belongs to a sports category or a, um, a political category. We can also use for decision making and prediction problems. So that's about uh, a Bayesian belief network. Thank you.